video, five reasons why it is actually possible to reverse kidney disease even if you are in stage four or five pre-dialysis. Catherine here, I've been working with people suffering from kidney disease for more than 10 years now. Now imagine this for a moment. Imagine that you have a car that you love. You take good care of it, you drive it every day, and you enjoy the ride. But one day, you notice that the engine is making a strange noise. You take it to the mechanic, and he tells you that your car has a serious problem. Even worse, there is no way to fix it. He tells you that your car is doomed. How would you feel? Would you accept his verdict? Or would you look for a second opinion, a third opinion, or even a fourth opinion? Would you search for alternative solutions, or would you give up on your car? Now, what if that is not just a car, but your kidneys? Yeah, I've met countless patients who were told by their doctors that there is nothing they can do about their kidneys. They are told that there is no hope, no cure, no miracle, and that they will have to go on dialysis sooner or later. This is why I am here today, because you see, there is more and more research being published today about kidney disease than it ever was and at a pace that I've never seen before. And what that means for us is hope. Because you see, reversing kidney disease is not just a matter of taking some pills or following some diet. It is mainly a matter of changing your mindset, your attitude, and your beliefs. It is a matter of having hope. And what gives me hope is the tremendous pace at which science is progressing to a cure for kidney disease today. Treatments for kidney disease that were considered impossible just a few years ago are now being studied. Let's see what they are. I want to start today with some news that will change a lot of people's minds on the very possibility of reversing kidney damage of actually regenerating damaged kidneys. Imagine for a moment that with regular injections and without any invasive therapy or transplants, the kidney of someone in stage 5 of CKD could actually start improving. It could actually start regenerating itself and gain back kidney function at the point of not needing dialysis anymore. This is not science fiction. This is actually happening now. There is a new therapy that's being tested today on actual humans and that can do what it was once considered impossible, regenerate damaged kidney cells. Yes, there is a therapy that's actually being tested in order to regenerate damaged kidneys. Let's take a look. Anti-interleukin-11 therapy. Okay, let's talk about anti-IL-11 therapy because I believe this is a topic that's not receiving enough attention from the media. So please, let me know in comment section if you ever heard about this before, if you know anything about anti-IL-11 therapy already. Now guys, this is a huge discovery and the fact that it's already being tested today in actual human is outstanding. So what is anti-IL-11 therapy and how is it going to reverse kidney disease? Past studies have linked a protein called interleukin-11 or IL-11 in short to scarring in organs. This is why a team of scientists from the Duke Nass Medical School started their research by looking at the role this protein plays in the kidneys. What they were able to prove in a breakthrough study on mice is that administering an antibody that binds to IL-11 does not just stop kidney damage. It reverses it. The team administered an antibody that binds to IL-11 in mouse models of human kidney disease twice a week for six weeks. 
At the start of the treatment, the rodent's kidney function was reduced by about a third and their kidneys had lost about a third of their mass. Now this is incredible! Three months after the beginning of the treatment, the mice had regained about 50% of their lost kidney mass and function. 50% kidney function back! Amazing! So yes, they already proved that this therapy can reverse kidney disease, at least in mice. Here is what Professor Stuart Cook, a cardiologist with the Duke now says about this. The therapy could be used to treat patients with established chronic kidney disease to reverse it. And they are not just saying that. There is a trial actually going on today to test if this therapy is safe on humans. So, they are already testing it on humans. And while they are only testing various dosages for safety on healthy volunteers, it's clear what the next step is, testing it on actual kidney patients. Now guys, this will be a huge step forward and I can't wait to hear more about it. I mean, there is the real possibility that in the near future, advanced kidney disease may be reversible with just a few IL-11 injections. But you see, sometimes we don't need a huge breakthrough to make a big difference. Sometimes it's the small things. In particular, we are going to take a look now at what could be considered the smallest change you can do to get the biggest possible result. This is a single vitamin that can actually slow down kidney disease by 44%. And it worked on 15,104 CKD patients in stage 3 and 4. In this study, CKD patients were able to delay dialysis by up to 10 years by adding just one vitamin to their regimen. This is a vitamin that should always be taken by anyone who is taking an ACE inhibitor, very common blood pressure medication. Let's see why. This is something you must know about because not all doctors do. Imagine losing your kidney function at a much faster rate just because your doctor forgot to give you one vitamin. I'm talking about folic acid by the way. So make sure you are taking this vitamin in the right dose, especially if you take an ACE inhibitor, but even if you don't. Why is this important? In this study, 15,104 patients with CKD who were also taking an ACE inhibitor were enrolled for more than 4 years. They were divided into two groups. One group was taking just the ACE inhibitor to manage their blood pressure. This is the control group. The other group was also administered one single dose a day of folic acid or vitamin B9 with their blood pressure medication. Now, it's important to notice that they were given 0.8 mg a day of folic acid. 0.8 mg a day is a dose you can get from most multivitamins suited for kidney disease patients, but many foods may also help you getting there. This vitamin is present in significant amounts in foods such as okra, but also spinach, asparagus, lettuce, sweet corn, sunflower seeds, and oil. So this amount of folic acid or vitamin B9 made a huge difference as we have seen. Here's what the authors of the study says about this. Patients with CKD benefited more from the therapy with a 56% and 44% reduction in the risk for progression of CKD in the rate of EGFR decline, respectively. Now, this is an incredible development in the treatment of kidney disease. The fact that a huge slowdown in the decline of kidney function may be achieved with just one vitamin makes it even more amazing. In short, make sure you are getting enough vitamins of the big group, especially if you are taking a blood pressure medications or if your homocysteine levels are too high. 0.8 mg a day of folic acid were used in 15,104 patients to slow down CKD by 44%. Now you might ask, if my doctor says that CKD cannot be reversed, why should I trust you? You see, I sometimes get a few of comments from people that really don't want to believe that what I say is true. And I get it. Today, most doctors will still tell you that there is nothing that can be done. But it's not true. 
this is why I made this video. This is why today I'm showing you some of the most recent breakthroughs in the world of kidney disease. There is one study in particular that proves that whoever will tell you that there is nothing that can be done is wrong. A study that proved that it is really possible to improve your GFR in stage 4 and 5 of CKD. This study analyzed the data of 406 patients with CKD, stage 4 and 5 pre-dialysis included, and it was published in the journal PLOS ONE. The researchers found that 62 patients, 15.3%, showed a sustained improvement in their GFR over time with an average increase of 1.88 ml per minute per year. These patients who reversed kidney disease progression had various types of CAD and many of them were in stage 5 pre-dialysis, which means clearly that you have a chance to improve your kidney health even if you are in the advanced stages of CAD. Now the aim of this study was not just to prove that GFR improvement is possible in CKD patients at any stage through stage 4 and 5, but also to identify what factors are associated with GFR improvement. This is why I made a full video about it. It's up here and also down in the description if you want to know more. So it almost looks like there is hope for everyone, except for those who are already in dialysis. Is that true? Up next, we will see that there are reasons why you should never lose hope, even if you are in dialysis. Lately, a lot of newspapers have published articles like this one. Yes, what seemed incredible just a few years ago is now reality. There is a man today with zero residual kidney function who is not doing any dialysis and not thanks to a regular transplant. He actually received a kidney from a bioengineered pig. Yes, this is really happening. It's not science fiction. And today, we are in the sixth week after the successful transplantation. Yes, this is really amazing. We are living in a scientific revolution right now. And what this means for us is hope. Now, it's important to understand that this is just a preliminary trial. The receiver of the kidney is brain dead. He donated his body to science so other people could benefit from this amazing breakthrough. But it's very important to understand that his body was still functioning normally, except from a complete lack of kidney function. But when he received the pig kidney, he started to produce urine immediately. No sign of hyperacute rejection was observed. Creatinine levels were normal during the length of the study and they are still today at the time of publishing this video. What this means is that it's only a matter of time before we will see this incredibly successful experiment replicated on actual dialysis patients in need for a kidney. Now guys, I've made a full video about this incredible breakthrough. It's up here and also down in the description if you want to know more. Time now to see what the most important thing you can do for your kidneys. For some CKD patients, especially those in stage 3 and 4, the diet alone could make all the difference between ending up in dialysis and never even hearing about dialysis again. Now, there is one more study about kidney disease I want to see. A study that actually changed my opinion on some of the most important issues related to the renal diet. You see, in this study, 120 CKD stage 3 and 4 patients were able to reverse the decline of their GFR just by improving their diet. It took only 24 weeks and a very simple dietary intervention, mainly focused on controlling protein and phosphorus intake to obtain an improvement in kidney function across the whole intervention group. One of the most incredible parts of this trial is that they didn't need to follow a very low protein diet. They were still eating some high protein foods such as egg whites, for example. So yeah, you can show this to your doctor if they say, Nothing can be done to improve kidney health. I mean, this very easy diet even helps those with CED stage 4. 
By the way, this is a very important subject and I've talked more in depth about it in my video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.